I'd say if we look out a couple of months, or I'm a time optimist, let's say we look out a year, I think this will be a very hot topic about basically how, from a sort of cultural context, do you fit in these kind of projects in the banks. Why will it become urgent? Because some of, I mean, I know some, for instance, some IT firms where they have said, we want to use this as an example when we go out and pitch to other banks. And the bank's management, their principal said, no, we keep it undercover. So that's, that's the sort of the, the drawback here, that some people think that they have discovered sort of the golden, the golden, the golden egg. Yes? Well, it's interesting because I think about two things, so then I will finish, but it's, they're not that evolved yet. I mean, they have these big projects and they, they, it's, it's sort of ingrained in them. And still in a bank, if you look at CDO, you go to a bank and you say, what's a CDO? They don't say chief data officer, there's a collateralized debt obligation, right? And it's interesting, while you have all of these companies with fairly in fairly competitive businesses like uh, travel online, etc., the tenders, the dating industry, etc., some of them have much more advanced analytics, okay, and high, higher, better analysts than many banks. They also go through fantastic extremes and efforts just to know their clients better. And ironically, if you think about it, the banking industry is the only industry, at least that I know of, where the regulator has to step in and order the operators to know their client. Know your client, or we will punish you. And if you put that in some kind of perspective, not only from you know, uh, reputation loss, but also loss to business opportunity, I find it totally amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs>